so I picked up a few things recently and I wanted to share them with you so I have a bag here full of stuff so the first thing I'll start with is two patterns that I purchased one of them is Friday the sage brush top so I purchased this I'm excited to make this up I actually like the one in in gingham because I'm really crazy about gingham so yes I have that the next pattern that I purchased is a McCall's pattern and it is a vintage pattern it's McCall's 3216 so it's a really simple dress or top but I like this I purchased this off of Etsy and then I picked up some fabric I purchased this fabric from Cali Fabrics I have really been doing a lot of shopping with Cali Fabrics I just love them okay so I may not even need my scissors that I brought yep I don't need them I thought this fabric was so pretty I really like this color and let me read what it says the kind of fabric that it is the color is kind of like a rust or a burnt orange or something look at that I like this it kind of reminds me of like a Texas Longhorn type of color and it says that it is a rust rayon chalet so I got three yards of this I have no idea what I want to make with it oh and then someone gifted me a poster for my sewing room and I will add in a clip to show you what it says so here's a better look at the poster and then I'm gonna read to you what it says in my sewing room thou shall not ask when it will be finished cut anything with my fabric scissors request that I hem your pants speak to me when I have seam ripper in hand tell me I have too much fabric push buttons on my sewing machine bring me your clothes to iron pull on any loose threads wonder aloud why I'm still in my pajamas come looking for food this is not the kitchen So if you are interested, the posters are sold on Etsy and they are also sold on Amazon and I will put a link in the description to the Amazon poster. Okay, so I also have two sewing makes that I wanna share with you. And the first one is a dress that I made from some fabric that I purchased when I was out of town and it is some corduroy fabric and I shared it in my last video and in the video I said that I wanted to make a jumpsuit but I ended up just making a dress the dress that I made is simplicity 9136 I made view C and I like view C because you can use contrasting fabric for the sleeves and that's what I did I decided to use some brown corduroy that I had left over from a corduroy skirt that I made which I shared a couple videos ago so I just used the corduroy for the sleeves and then I used the blue corduroy for the rest of the dress. The dress does have pockets. It has a back zipper. It has gathers in the waist. There is bias tape that goes around the neckline and there are darts in the front bodice. So I really like this dress. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So I had some fabric left over and I'm going to share with you what I decided to do with some of the leftover scraps. So I had a lot of scraps left over. I had denim scraps and then I had some corduroy scraps and I had corduroy in blue and also corduroy in this brown color left over from the dress that I made and I decided to try to make a scrap buster but I'm also going to try to do a mash up of two different patterns so I want to take the top of this pattern which is simplicity 8944 I want to take this top portion and I want to attach it to this skirt portion right here which is simplicity 1325 I just looked through my scraps to find out how much I had and what I thought I could fit and I mixed up the fabrics because this is a denim but this denim is a harder 
type of denim, more stiff. And this is a cotton denim. And all of these denim fabrics and corduroy fabrics do have a little bit of stretch in them. So I have all my pieces cut and I am going to attempt to make this garment, which should look something like this when it's done because the bodice is similar to this bodice. It's just a little deeper and this has darts and this one doesn't. And there is a zipper that goes in the back of this garment. So hopefully fingers crossed that this will turn out right. So yes, we shall see. Okay, so I am all done with my top. It is actually in the washing machine right now, but I wanted to share with you what I did for the mashup. So this is the bodice back and the skirt back. This is the bodice front and the skirt front, and this is just folded in half. And this skirt front is supposed to be placed on the fold. So I wanted to check to make sure that the pieces would line up and match before I sewed them together. So I just took the front bodice and I turned it over to check to see I lined up the edges as best as I could with, you know, just with holding it down. And I noticed on this side that it does not meet. It actually hangs over. So this means that this bodice is going to be too big. And then I did the same thing for the skirt back. I just folded this over on top and lined up the center back. And I looked over here and I noticed that it does not line up. So ideally you would want everything to line up as close to perfect as possible before you sew them together so you know that it will go together pretty much seamlessly. But I sewed it together anyway, and then I will tell you a little bit more about what I had to do to make it work. So here it is, the big reveal out of the wash. This is the Scrap Buster mashup that I made. It has the zipper in the back. I just used a center zipper. And I liked leaving the edges raw on the top I like that look and so that's what I went with now I did have to wear a tank top under it is it a tank top or tube top maybe so I wore a tube top under it because the front of this does go down really low the sleeves are really low the opening on the side is really low so that's something for me to keep in mind because if I decide to make this again I may want to raise the armhole a little bit because I thought it was really low and I, you could see you know my bra and everything if I didn't have anything on under this. Now the bodice was supposed to be lined but I didn't bother lining it at all and the front pieces were supposed to be cut on the fold but I didn't have enough fabric to do that so I did cut them in two pieces and just sew them together. So I did mention that the bodice was a little bit too long for the skirt. So what I did to make everything work is I just added a few gathers in the front of the top just to make everything kind of go together. So that was my way of fixing the problem with the bodice being a little bit longer than the skirt. And I think it worked out just fine. Okay, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So what I learned recently is that chalk markers and dry erase markers can be used on mirrors. So you could just write on the mirror whatever you want to say and it will wipe away with no problems. So I thought that that was good to know.